background, let's start working a little bit with our character. So as you can see, if I click on the different costumes, my cat is in a little bit of a different position. And if I go back to scripts and look at my code, if I click on the green flag, my cat moves to the right, but it doesn't really look like he's moving, right? He's sliding across the screen, but you don't see his legs moving, so it doesn't really look like he's running. So today we're going to learn how to make our cat look like he is running. In order to do that, we need to do a few different things. First of all, if we go back to costumes, if we click on our cat and go back and forth between the two costumes, doesn't it kind of look like he's running? So maybe we could program him to switch between costume one and costume two, and maybe that'll make it look like he's running. Let's try to do that. So let's do when this sprite is clicked, we're going to switch to costume two, which is the costume he has on now. We're going to go to the control blocks. We're going to wait one second. We're going to go back to looks, add another switch to costume, but this time we're going to say switch to costume one. So if I click on him, it doesn't really quite work. We're missing a couple of steps. So we also need to add a repeat block. This is gonna make it so that he does it multiple times. So that you see him going between those two costumes. Before, we couldn't see him changing between those two costumes. We also need to add one more thing. We need to add this wait one second below. This way, he goes to his first costume, so he's standing with his legs straight, and then he waits one second, he moves his legs, and then he waits another second and he goes back to his legs being bent. So now let's see what happens. So now it looks like he's doing a really slow jog in place. So there's a few more things we need to do, correct? Well, first of all, if I were to click on the green flag right now, it would start things over. So he'll move 10 steps, but he's not going to also move his legs. We need to get these two things happening at the same time. So I'm actually going to get rid of when the green flag is clicked. And I'm going to add this move 10 steps in here. And let's put another one in below here. So now every time he moves his leg, he moves 10 steps forward. Now, that doesn't actually look like he's moving 10 steps, right? That's because he's moving uh, 10 spaces forward. We're going to go over this in our next video, but if you look down here, this will tell us our X and our Y. And that has a lot to do with our movement, because those are the axes that we, we move on in Scratch. But what I'd like you to try now is to see if you can program our cat or what I, our cat to move and look like he's running. But maybe you could change a few things from what I did. See what happens if he only moves five steps or if he waits 0.5, so like a half a second. See if you change these numbers around if it makes it look better or worse. Give it a shot and let me know what you think. Have a great day.